Well, it seems like licensed Chevrolet K10s are the in thing right now in the RC world, and not to be left out of the mix, RC four-wheel drive has now entered the ring with a truck of their own, a hard-body K10, and it's ready to run. Here's the truck as it sort of comes out of the box. It's actually a completely ready-to-run kit that requires a little bit of assembly, and it's a good thing, I'll tell you why in a minute. But first up, let's talk about the chassis set that's under here. It is the Trailfinder 2 edition, long wheelbase version, and the body on it is a Scottsdale edition K10. A10. It's a great looking body set. Kind of looks familiar, doesn't it? It looks like that blazer front end cab area. Looks like they kind of just back poured it. However, they went and changed up the roof line and then they went and extended the bed. They've got the gap between the cab and the bed. Really cool looking body. There's almost like a, maybe a very light metallic flake in this paint. And it definitely is paint because I saw some underspray areas on the bottom side of it. I wish I could actually paint that good without getting any little flecks of uh, dust in my paint jobs. But let's just take a closer look. We've got the chrome grill and transparent headlights, transparent orange markers, chrome front and rear bumper. You're gonna have to install that front and rear bumper. It's just a few screws and they nicely label the bags of screws. So you know the different lengths makes it really easy. The instructions tell you where everything goes. There's chrome mirrors, wipers, there's transparent windows, full interior kit in here. So you got a dashboard, steering wheel, seats, the floor pan, even door panels. So it's a great looking interior. There's some decals already applied from the factory and there's actually an extra decal sheet that you go apply different decals to the interior and some extra decals on the outside if you wanna add some trim to it or add some trim around the windows. So in true RC four wheel drive fashion, they're giving you those extras. Let me spin this around to the back here and there's a chrome bumper out back, the transparent red tail lights, chrome bezel around that. And then they have the metal etched Chevy logo and the Scottsdale logo on the side. I even like that they have a little RC four wheel drive sticker on the back window. Now, this is what I really love about some of the RC four wheel drive truck is you could open up some of the panels such as the rear tailgate. It has metal hinges and then the hood actually pops up and open and I can't get to it like usual because they give you inner fender liners with this, which is pretty cool. You do have to install those as well. Just stick your fingernail under the hood. You can pop it up, check out those metal hinges. There's a magnet that helps secure the hood down, but you get to go and check out the engine bay. And I love that they have those inner fender liners. Makes it so much better. Pop this hood back down in place. I actually don't have the body mounted, so I could take it off. I think overall this hard body set has a great look to it. They have the Marlin sliders on the side. They tuck up nice and tight against the body, which looks really good. Down here at the wheels and tires, they now have BF Goodrich uh, Mud Terrain TA tires on it, and they're wrapped around these Rally beadlock wheels. I like the chrome trim ring, and then the satin aluminum uh, face to the wheel itself. Even the lugs down here that secure the beadlock just add to the scale factor of this truck. When you do go and attach the body the body actually comes separate and it comes in its own box and it's got its own cellophane wrapping on it and, and foam to protect it the chassis set is actually in a separate box and it has its own protective covering so when you get this truck you're gonna have to do some assembly but everything is wrapped up so you get a really mint looking truck right out of the box and like i said you're gonna have to go mount the body yourself there's two screws on the side and then they have the body posts in the rear which i don't really think you need because you got the screws on the side and now there's one one more thing that I gotta tell you about this body set. Take a look at that, guys. Look at all of the LED wires in this. So we've got tail lights and marker LEDs in the rear. Uh, same with the front, there's the marker lights and the headlights, and look how nicely they ran the wires through this. This is where I was really impressed. I mean, they got things zip tied, they got things hot glued, so those wires aren't gonna go anywhere and get caught up in your, your tires or anything like that while you're driving, and it's gonna look a lot more scale without any wires hanging down. So I like that and I like how they finish this truck. The Trailfinder 2 chassis isn't new from RC four wheel drive. I'm just gonna quickly go over some of its features. But one thing I just wanna point out to you guys, look at the wiring. Everything is nicely laid out. I mean, look at that servo wire running down the length of the chassis, not twisted up or anything like that, all zip tied down. Everything is nicely done. I, I like the build quality from what I could see. Again, you're gonna have to install the fender liners yourself. 
I did have to do a little trimming by the shock tower, but let's just take a quick look at this long wheelbase TF2 chassis. The nice thing about RC four wheel drive kits is a lot of the parts on them are metal and it just feels like you're getting something for your dollar. You know, there's not a lot of plastic stuff on here. So you feel like you bought something really special with these trucks. So you got the aluminum ladder frame chassis, aluminum cross braces, uh, even an aluminum plate here for the, the battery pack. And you're gonna have to go and install the battery straps. There's a small plate towards the back for the ESC. And then the fuel cell is actually where the receiver is. The suspension, they've got their white aluminum shocks on here. This is a leaf sprung truck. And uh, you know, like other RC four wheel drives, you could go and remove a leaf to help free up the suspension a little bit because it is rather rigid right out of the box. Moving on to the drive line, it has the R33 transmission. I love the cast metal case on this. It looks so cool. Metal gears on the inside, ball bearings, large spur gear uh, with a front mounted motor, aluminum motor plate, and just so that motor helps get some weight over the front wheels. We got a stubby shaft back to the hammer transfer case, cast metal housing, ball bearings, and then it actually has a stubby shaft to the carrier bearing because this is a long wheelbase kit before you go to the slider drive shafts out to the axle in the rear. And then it just has the you know slider drive shaft in the front to the K44 axles. And these are nice looking metal axle, metal gears on the inside, CVs at the end in the front to go to the metal steering knuckles. And this setup should be really good for some scale driving. Let's round out the details by talking about the electronics. 45 turn brush motor. They have their twister servo mounted to the chassis, metal links down for the steering. And then in the back is the outcry brush speed controller and this is what I really like about it they give you an XT60 plug uh, so much better than old Tamiya plugs or even the Dean's plugs I mean I'm using a lot of these XT60s uh, and then the receiver is mounted in the cell, fuel cell like I mentioned earlier you have to go install this extension wire if you do want to go and hook up those LED lights that's in a separate pack it's really easy to do just two screws hold down the cap of the fuel cell and finally, let's just talk about the other stuff that comes in the kit. It has the XR3 three-channel radio system, which has the nice foam wheel, 2.4 gigahertz, and uh, the trim dials up top here allow you to adjust things like EPA or your steering trim, throttle trim, even the third channel. Over here, you get the additional grill insert. Here is the charger that comes with it. They give you all the adapters for the different countries. It's just a basic wall plug-in charger. You probably gotta outgrow that thing really quickly. The AA batteries for the radio system, the extra decals, and then the instruction manual. Last thing I didn't mention before is it does have a 3000 milliamp battery pack that comes with the truck. Nickel metal hydride, which will power this truck just fine for the type of scale driving that I'm doing. I'm gonna bring it down to the trails now just to see how good it looks.
Uh, RC four-wheel drive. You know, I'm really happy that you've given us another hard body option. You do Chevy trucks really well. I like the square bodies. I like that this has a deep bed. I like that the tailgate folds down. We could open the hood on this. The paint job on this is absolutely phenomenal. I rolled it while I was driving it and oh, my heart was absolutely broken when I saw the scratches in the paint. But I'm actually also impressed with, you know, how this truck comes. It's really nicely packaged. They do build this really well. I like how all the wires were nicely uh, hot glued inside the body, how they were run perfectly down the frame rails. We've got a ready to run electronic system that does a fair job. They give you a three channel radio system so you can use that third channel for some additional functionality later on down the road. It's got a decent smooth crawl to it when you're on the trail and the steering does do a good job. That twister servo is a decent servo for ready to run. I did notice however that the radio system wasn't trimmed properly to give you full steering out of the box. So if you find the steering is limited, go and turn up the dual rate knobs and you'll get much more steering throw out of it. But once you start challenging this truck, that's where you start to see its limitations. When you're crawling over uneven surfaces, rocks and roots and such, you'll just see the truck teetering. And then if you get it really off camber, that's when this wants to roll. And I did go use the hand of God a bunch of times to catch this truck so it wouldn't roll over and ruin the beautiful paint job. And so for this TF2 platform, it's it's been around for a while. And for the release of this truck, I wish they just maybe gave us a few tweaks to help with the handling. I'm fully aware that there's a lot of modifications you can do to go and improve the truck. There's a lot of videos out there. I'm not gonna go over it here, but there's a lot of great videos that will tell you how to tweak the leaf spring suspension and free it up a bit. I just wish that RC four wheel drive went and did some of that for us so we didn't have to go and do it. And it is part of modeling to go and tweak and tune your RC and they've given us a good platform to start with. But at this point, I, I think I would have liked to seen a little bit more done to the truck to help improve the drive experience. And overall, it is fun. When I was on the flat trail sections, just going through the dirt paths, this thing looks very cool. I, I think they did a great job by adding the LED lights. Thank you for that. We've got a little extra detail on the interior. Overall, it looks like a great package. And actually, the tires work really well, too. I did want to mention that. I like how they're just soft and then the weight of the truck helps collapse the tire over rocks and it helps pull the truck up and over some of the, the challenges you're going through. But I just would like to see a, an improvement of handling on these trucks. But if you are a builder and you enjoy the challenge, this is a great base to start with. They've created something really cool here. And if you're just a square body fan, I think you're gonna enjoy it as well. I'll have links for it in the video description below. And let me know if you'd like to see a follow-up on this RC four wheel drive rig and let me know what I should do to it.